What's going on YouTube? Kevin Reese here. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Today I want to show you all this Streamlight Polytech X that I picked up. So the reason I picked this up is I have the original Polytech, which comes in at like 280 lumens max, I think. This one here, this new one, is 600 lumens, the Polytech X. It came with a micro USB rechargeable 18650 2600 milliamp stream light battery. And I got this light to replace the light on my fire helmet, which I'll show y'all how I have my original stream light set up on it. And to use the other one is to keep like in my bunker pants for some hands free lighting. Just from what I have found being out on scene, um, majority of time when you run into vehicle accidents they're going to be at nighttime when there's decreased visibility so when you're involved in vehicle extrication and you've got you know your buddies over here and y'all are popping a door you're cutting a door um, it what I have found is only having a helmet mounted light um, when I'm looking around is not really enough I, I wanted an, another light to keep you know so that I can shine and, and kind of see what's going on. So it's the reason I picked up another one to replace it and also to keep uh, another a good stream light in my bunker gear. So opening up the box, what you're initially going to get, you get your paperwork here. You've got your, your light, which is going to come with the battery, and it has one of those discs that comes in between. So uh, to keep the power from being accidentally activated that you'll remove before you use the light for the first time. Like I said, it comes with a really nice Streamlight battery. It's a 2600 milliamp, 3.7 volt, 18650 with the micro USB recharging capability. And so when you plug that in, it, it turns a, like a red color while it's charging. Uh, it's got a light down here at the tip somewhere. It's, it's interesting because you can't really see like where a light would be, but it lights up red. And then uh, when it's ch fully charged, it turns blue. So pretty handy to be able to have this because, you know, there's so many micro USB cables around. Um, I've got a million of them. Really handy little feature. You can see here your reflector here, the large spring. So looking here, y'all, you've got a high, medium, low, and a strobe mode. And you can see they give different run times. So for your CI123As, you can see your run time. And then you've got your 18650. So you can see you get a good bit more runtime out of that than you do the CR123s. Since it comes with this 18650 is what we're going to look at. You see you've got 35 lumens on low. That'll run for 36 hours, y'all. And that's plenty of light to see. Now what I like about this one on medium at 260 lumens, which is close to my max on my original stream light, I get 5 hours and 145 minutes out of that. If I want to take it up to high, 600 lumens, three and a half hours on a full charge. It's impact resistant and it's the, the IP68, so um, waterproof to submersible up to uh, one meter. And you can see right here your LED charge indicators. Like I said, charging, the red LED is on. When it's charged, the green LED is on. And so you can see here, if you look at the light, it tells you Looking inside, it tells you the position the 18650 goes or your CR123s. So it's nice they put this in here, y'all, so you can you can tell you can use either or, which is nice to have a multi-fuel light. So see so a positive side up here, just as the picture indicates. Drop that in. Comes with the O-ring right here around the cap. Sits on top of your belt clip. And it's a, it's, a, it's a good light, y'all. Um, like I said, I've been in, with my original stream light, I've been in, uh, I've worked calls where I've been outside for two hours in rain. The lights on top of my helmet has never given me any problems at all. A structure fire, I've been inside house fires. Um, I've had electrical wires draped down on top of me, shocking me and stuff. Uh, the, and I've never had any issues with my original stream light, so... The Polytech X, you know, new and improved output. I'm expecting the same type of reliability and durability out of it. Simple polymer, good quality polymer design here. And if and if you're one of those, you know, if you want to use this light, it will. You can see it will tail stand for you. It's got the 10 tap programmable feature. 
I have mine set up right now where it goes low, medium, high, all the way up to this is my 600 lumen and I can feel the heat off of this one. So to change to the program, so when you're at the off position, you tap the switch rapidly nine times within 0.4 seconds per tap and hold it down the tenth time. Continue holding the switch until the light turns off, which is approximately one second. Then you release the switch. So that's how you change your different modes. So to show you all what that looks like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold it down, and there the light turned off. You can see here the next mode that I'm in is high, strobe, and low. And the next mode that I can go to is high only. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it down. It went off, and you saw that it that it went to high right at the end. So when I press it, I can keep tapping. It's going to be high every time. So and then to go back to my last mode, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it down. You can see it went to low and it went off. I can release it. I don't really have to press it down and click it and hold it. The only light behind me is an aerial light. So looking out here over my pond, you can see this is, looking out here in front, this is your low mode on the stream light. So low, medium, low, medium, high. So this is high, this is your 600 lumens. As y'all can see, it gives a very, very nice beam all the way out here across the yard. You can see here, hitting that magnolia tree down there, other side of the pond. You can see here, really, really nice. Lights up the whole area. Really, really bright hot spot. One thing about these stream lights that I like, that hot spot really helps with uh, with cutting through smoke. Um, you know, it, it does have a nice flood. You can see around it. So, even on low, it's got a it's got a nice flood feature. Come over here where it's a little darker. I'll let y'all see that so I mean you can definitely even on this mode you can light up and see a lot um, about where I, I work most of the time would be here with my your medium which is still if y'all look at that it's plenty of light um, for what I'm gonna be using this light for like I said on scene all right y'all so here's my fire helmet as you can see here like I was saying this is the original Streamlight Polytech and you can see I have a Streamlight, it says Streamlight around it, Streamlight helmet band here. It's a rubber band. So I took my, I took my plate off the front here to put this on, took it off, put it around the back side of it. And you see I could actually run two flashlights on here if I wanted to. But I just choose to run a single one. So it gives me uh, all the light output I need. And like I said, I wanted to be able to go hands-free, so um, it's the reason I, I got this. The reason I just wanted to take this one off, put this one on. So that's what we're going to do now. As y'all can see, uh, the reason I, I, like, I, I like this clip and I keep this clip on here, and you can see that clip's actually a little different than this clip is, but it goes over it like that. So if anything, I mean, it holds it so tight to this helmet, it, it's never gone it's never gone anywhere y'all I mean the light is in there I've never had an issue with it and it's been through hell um, the clip actually you know it it goes through and kinda goes over so it's it's just that extra added level of security there just to hold it in place but this this band holds it so tight I've never had an issue with it coming out alright y'all so I'd be lying if I, was, if I said that it wasn't as easy to activate as my old gloves were so you can see here structural firefighting gloves and to activate the light I, I can reach up tap it so I've got low medium high press it and click it I mean it works not as easy because that tail cap isn't as, isn't as exposed but um, just kind of get the tip of, tip of my finger down there on it so I can hit low and I, I kind of have to mash it a little bit harder it's not quite as easy still doable I think for the extra 600 lumens, 
I can deal with it. But low, medium, click it, say if I want to work like that. I know I'm probably blinding the hell out of y'all every time I look at the camera. But this is another issue uh, when you're working on scene, you're working with another firefighter and they ask you something, you look at them and you say, what? Which is another reason I like to have uh, some hands-free lights, which is why I wanted to keep this other one in my bunker gear. So um, that's kind of uh, one of the issues you run into. But here it's still low, medium, high. Click it, it works, works fine. So no problems with it at all really. A little bit tougher but it's still very manageable, very doable. Not as easy as the other one, of course, because I mean, you're not, you don't have, you don't have this tail cap that is completely exposed. All right, and if y'all are interested in a review of the original Streamlight Polytac, I have a video of it on, as well. The original Streamlight Polytac, I still really like this light, y'all. Um, it is that same 10 tap programmable so right now I have it set to for low, low and high. So I've got it set low and then high. This is the only two modes you get on that one. But same feature. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you see it strobes and it goes off. So and then when I go back to it, I have low, strobe, and then high, which is how I had it set up before. Low, strobe, high. But I like the low high, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold off. And there's also, so this mode is actually high, so it'll only do high. Every time you turn on, it's high. But I like low high, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold. It goes low and then off, so here we go. We got low, high. So, but anyway, if you want to see a full review on this light, like I said, check out my video. I've already done one on it. And now this is my thought, y'all. <clears throat> I think I'm going to rock this one like this for a little while, see how I like it, run some calls with it, see how it performs on scene. What I think I'm going to do uh, with this light is I may put this light back on here just because it's so easy to access that. Being that it's that easy to access that, I don't want it to be turning on and off you know inside my my bunker pants when I put it in my bunker pants you know by bumping around because I think if I lean into something I'm gonna activate it because the tail cap so exposed so actually what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back on here and I'm gonna keep this one in my bunker gear so to have uh, an extra because it's got that extra protection you have to press it a little bit harder for it to activate and I think it would be better served in my gear it's still the still Streamlight Polytech, still really tough and rugged, so I can still pull it out and use it. But uh, I think I'm going to have uh, less chance of activating this um, being in my bunker gear. I may actually pick up another light and uh, maybe run one on the other side, but keep this in my bunker gear and maybe put this one on the other side. I don't think this is the best the best light to be in a pocket, honestly, just because that tail cap is so exposed and it's so easy to to activate it I mean you can see here I, I mean I can barely barely tap it and it activates and I know I'm gonna end up active turning it on in my pocket so back here on my helmet and y'all can see there I mean look at that it's so it's so easy to activate that I'm just gonna leave this one on my helmet this light actually uses uh, CR123 batteries but honestly, I have had this light on my helmet for a few years now with the same batteries that came in it, and they are still as powerful. I've never had to change them so far. I just couldn't keep this one in my pocket. That tail cap is so exposed, and it's so easily activated, as y'all can see. I mean, I, I really can't, can't justify putting this in my pocket because I will inadvertently turn it on. I know that I will. It's very easy to do. So this one is going to go in my bunker gear. As y'all can see here, so my bunker pants, I'm going to put it right here on this side. This side pocket here, I keep some extrication gloves, which when I'm going to do, you know, any any kind of auto extrication, these are the gloves I use. I have a review on these as well, R347s, if y'all want to check those out. But I'm going to go ahead and drop this in. Boom. Close it up, even matches my bunker gear with the desert tan. 
so they'll just drop right in there i can close it and i mean i can and i always have that light by my side so i thank y'all for watching my video i hope this video has helped y'all out if y'all looking at that light go ahead and smash that like button drop a comment and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching y'all